Hey, what's up guys? So today we're working on D21 here and we're doing the rear brakes. And I come to realize that nobody's ever replaced these before. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of the back ones. So grab a seat, take some notes, cause this is gonna be harder than the usual videos. And it might be longer too, because there's so much little details about this. But I try to do the best I can and describe it the best way I can and get it to where it's easy. So let's get started. All right guys, so what you're gonna need is a bunch of stuff like this. This is a spring removal tool from Harbor Freight. It's like $12. We got some vice grips, flatheads, some tweezers, pliers, and cutters. And then you're gonna need a spring, I mean, I'm so sorry, a rear brake drum kit. It's like $10 and it just comes with all the extra springs and stuff. And then obviously you're gonna need some brake shoes. All right guys, so we're at the brake drum here. And uh, what you're gonna need, if your brakes are like mine, where they're completely stuck on there, you're gonna need you like something like a mallet, something like this and just give it a good old whack. Get that drum nice and loose. And this is just mosey on off. All right guys, so we got our brake drum off. So now we're here at the shoes. So what I'm gonna do is I have this tool here. This is the spring remover tool. So you're just gonna get this one on this side here and you're gonna undo it. Keep twisting until it moses off. Almost there. Come on, I'm pop out. Uh, it's being kind of stubborn. I think I could just like pop it off. Press it in with a screwdriver or something. Whatever, figure it out. There we go, okay. So, that comes out. So now we're gonna pop this one off. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's good to take some photos just beforehand so you can see the order of everything. And I've already done this, so I kinda know how it goes already. So now we got both sides loose. And it should allow us to move our brake to where we can get our spring off. And we are using the spring removal tool. So one of these springs has to come off first. Is it gonna be the top or is it gonna be the bottom? Got the top spring off. Now, they just popped everything else out. I don't know if you want to do it that way, but it makes your life a little bit easier as far as getting everything off. Getting this e-brake clip out. So we're gonna get it from the bottom with the tweezers and just pull up. It should pop out. All right, so we got our e-brake clip off and now we have this C-clip here. And this piece, we have to put it on the new part. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. And let me tell you, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Everything else is pretty much not that bad, but this right here is tough. All right, guys, so we're continuing to get this clip off here. And I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna specify this. There is no easy way to get this off. This is your own fight. However you get this off, Good luck. What I use is my little pinchers here and I'm pulling this. Can you see? Just turning it like this. And I just keep doing that and I bend it back. Let me see if I can get this side here. Turn it back that way. Turn it back. Okay, gotta turn back. And I'm gonna twist. 
twist it upward again. And as you can see, my clip's all bent up and nasty, but as long as it comes off. Right, so now it should be able to pop off. I don't know why it's not. Look, it should be off. It's not off. It's garbage. So I'm gonna just twist this other end the other way, in the other direction, and that should that should do it. There we go. Clips out. And let me tell you, that's your own fight. Getting it back on does not look pretty either. The one I had does not look pretty. So let's move along here. So we're back at our drum. And what we're gonna do is just spray it down with some brake clean. You know, you wanna get all this area pretty much nice and clean. You can spray it down or wipe it or just spray it down. I just, I'm just gonna spray it down for now. So get some brake clean all up in there. Get some of that off. And while that sits, we're gonna move along and transfer our stuff to our other parts. Also, this adjuster too, you wanna get some cleaner on there and get that nice and cleaned up. And kinda let it soak. Get some of that dust off. Okay guys, so now we're gonna take our piece that we just took off and transfer it to our new brake. So there's a washer that goes on here, kind of like that, they give you a new one. And you place this here, and it should have just enough wiggle room for you to put your little bolt. So what you wanna do with this end, you wanna kinda put it on something where it's like a little elevated so it doesn't move. So for instance, I'm gonna use this old, old break here. Just kind of set it like that. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, set it like that or something. Just to give you, make life easier. So now that's there, and we're gonna get our new spring, which is. I don't know where the hell I put the spring at. Maybe it's under this. Nope. Okay. Give me a second. Let me find this damn spring. So now we're going to get our spring and put it on. I want this to go like this in here. And then you can use your thumb and just press this fat part of the spring. Stress this. There we go. Okay, that part's in, kind of had to fight with it a little bit. Now for the most pain in the ass part is this clip, this C-clip, getting the C-clip on. Fuck this fucking clip, man. So uh, we're getting this clip back on here and I had to get some help because I just don't know what I was doing. Look how destroyed the break is. See guys, I can't tell you how to do this. I can't show you how to do this. This is your own battle. Getting this clip on. But it might be good to have another person around. Someone who has a different sight on things. <laughs> Someone with more patience, obviously. Up. Oh my gosh, it's just a smidget. Yeah, and it's on. It's a lot better than I did. Thank you, person. I won't show your face. The crock wear. Okay, now we can continue. Okay, so now we are back at the wheel hub area and we're going to apply 
our brake grease. This is something I forgot to mention. Brake grease and some brake cleaner. Make sure you have that before you get started. So add that to your list. So we're just gonna hit all these contact points. Oops, I spread it a little bit too much, but it's okay. I'm just uh, gonna keep applying it. I don't know how much to put, but it doesn't seem like it was too much on these. Just put like a fat glob. Enough to do the dang job. All right, get this side here. Man, I'm still tripping over that fucking clip. This whole time, that clip is what took just so much, so much work. It's ridiculous. All right, so we got that spread out on our contact points. All right, guys, so we're getting our e-brake line on. Get some pressure on the spring. Then get this lined up with this, and then just try to wedge it in there. Okay. Okay, so we got our e-brake spring on. So now we can kind of position this upward like this. And then what you're going to want to do is get your bracket back on because nothing's holding this so we got to get this bracket on all right guys so now we're going to get our spring on here to hold this break up brake pad brake shoe whatever pretty much done dude that clip wore me out man um that clip literally just <sighs> so frustrating all right so we're gonna get our little tool Press it in and turn it and lock it up. Okay. So we're just gonna turn that. All right. This is basically locked in. Good. All right, so we got this brake on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the other side. All right, guys, so we're gonna put on our adjuster here. So you're gonna wanna twist this to where it's like, you know, closed in basically because you got new brakes and it's gonna adjust on its own. So this short end goes on the side with the bracket and the other end doesn't. And this should just line up like that, sit right in there. Yeah, that's pretty much lined up. Okay, that's sitting in there pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this one on. All right guys, so we're gonna put on our second brake here. We're gonna get our spring. Then we're gonna get it to this other hole. Line that spring in there. And then you're just gonna pull. Tug on this one. lined up come on there we go okay so we got that lined up right there all right so we got our adjuster on we got a top spring on now we're gonna get the bottom spring on so for the bottom spring we're going to want to connect it just like that and then this is going to take some pulling as well, just like how the top spring was. But this is the easiest way I found to put it on. All right, guys. So we're going to get the bottom spring on. So we're basically just going to get this in here and pull back like this. And hold your hand there. Now, you want to have some strength because you're going to have to pull. Then we're gonna get our spring in there. Make sure that's pulled back nice. Okay, so we got that in. And go ahead and push this in here. Okay. 
Okay. Tighten this up. So all this is on. So now that that's on, we got a bottom spring on. Top springs in there good. Everything looks nice and pretty much snug. All right guys, so we got everything on. So last but not least, you wanna get your adjuster kind of like nice and line. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to go. But I assume just as long as one end's here and the one end's here, you should be good. And then you just kind of want to adjust it. So you just take a screwdriver and just go up. And that will kind of adjust it to where it loosens up a bit. I mean, widens up. I just do it enough to where I start seeing like a little gap right there. And then I assume that it's gonna go ahead and adjust on its own. But if it doesn't, that means you screwed up and you gotta do everything all over again. So now we're gonna try to get our caliper back on. I mean our drum caliper, what the hell am I saying? Okay. You kinda gotta, if your drum's not lining up, you just wanna get your brakes in. Press them in. There. I'm just getting done. There we go. Just finished up. I gotta change the oil on her car now. <laughs> so not. Yeah. All right, guys. So we got a tire back on. Now it's time to test out our brakes.